Hey. Pedro. Huh? Hey, hello. Hello? Is that something? Yeah, you need to film your video right now. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be filming. My bad. Yeah. I got really carried no away crap. with this awesome song. But yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I should probably film my video. <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Pedro, and this is Cozy Fedgy. And on this channel, we cover a variety of things such as Let's Plays, JRPGs, and all things cozy gaming. Now, when it comes to video games, there are a lot of factors that go into it to make what makes a good game, whether that's the combat or gameplay mechanics, or of course, the story, the narrative, the lore, the world, character design, the and theming and all that jazz. But I feel like one thing that kind of gets overlooked is music in video games. The importance of music in video games is definitely a factor that people need to put emphasis on. And to me, what makes a really good game? With, with good music, it can help you get immersed into the world, whether you're just frolicking around the overworld or getting into an intense battle and the music starts pumping in and gets you even more hyped. OSGs, soundtracks, music all play a huge factor in really giving you the overall picture and overall a message of what the game should be like. But today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite songs and OSDs from my video games. What's also really cool about this video, I also have some of your favorite songs and OSTs from video games as well. So this past Sunday, I went on Twitter and asked, what is your favorite soundtrack or OST from a video game? And you guys did not disappoint and you came in clutch for sure. So a lot of the opinions and songs are from awesome people like you, as well as other content creators who wanted to share in their two cents on their favorite songs and OSTs and video games. So I also want to start off with my favorites and then we're gonna go on to your favorites. I also want to mention that if you want to be a part of future videos or just want to interact with me, you should definitely check my Twitter. I'm always on there. Also other social media such as Instagram and TikTok at the handle Cozy Veggie. Of course I gotta put in the self plug. Without further ado, let's get into our first song. So the first two songs are from the same franchise. Now, I'm looking at my list, there's two songs from like five different franchises, but I couldn't choose just one. Sorry, there's just too many good songs out there. So the first one I have to pick is God Shattering Star from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now for me with Fire Emblem, that was my first proper JRPG that I played on my own by myself, as well as my first ever strategy RPG. And my first route that I played was the Golden Deer, Fear the Deer. Um, and when we came to the final boss, I don't want to spoil too much, but when we went to the final boss and that theme song kicked in, I kid you not, I literally stopped playing for like a good like two minutes just to really absorb that song. Because when that song kicked, it hits. Oh my god, I was just in shock. I think there's like a meme of someone talking about how they first heard God Shining Star for the first time and I was literally like overwhelmed. Cause like I was like, oh yeah, I need to be playing the game right now. But I was just so caught up with how crazy that song was. That I feel like song really set the tone of how dramatic and intense this final battle or final boss was going to be. That song in itself top tier and I highly recommend you do honestly if anything else is going to encourage you to do golden deer route that song alone will definitely push you to choose that route because it's something else and of course our next song that I'm going to be talking about is lost in thoughts all alone which comes from Byron Fates both the games conquest and birthlight this like their main theme of the song. I think it's beautifully sung in both English and Japanese, but I'm more familiar with the English version of it. But my God, that song, I really, and even though they do play it quite a lot in the game, I still never get sick of it. It's such a beautiful, calming song that also kind of fills, fills? It makes you feel the kind of emptiness and kind of, almost kind of has a sadness to it, which I think fits the theme of the game. The song just, it hits. It really does hit. So the next series that I want to mention is of course Persona. 
Um, the first one is Persona 5 with Beneath the Mask. Now with Persona 5, there are so many songs that I could choose from. Literally, I could make a whole video just Persona 5 music in general, but, prefer but with Beneath the Mask particularly, it just, oh, I feel like I resonate with that song so much. I just find myself chilling at home, whether I'm doing the dishes, doing the laundry, reading a book, working on a script idea, I can just have that song playing in the background and it just really sets the tone. And it just like gives you like warm, cozy vibes. I think on YouTube there's like a whole like 10 hour playlist of like um, you at like LeBlanc as it's raining and the song's playing in the background. Like, oh, I just, the feels that that song get, gives is just immaculate. I live for that song. But again, all the Persona 5 songs are truly chef's kiss and I could just sit here talking about all of them, but we have other songs to talk about. Now another song from another Persona series is Persona 4 and that's um, Heartbeat Heartbreak. I don't know what it is about that song, but it got me Heartbeat Heartbreak. Like, I don't know what it is about song. When I first heard it, I was just like doing my little dance, jamming along to it. It's such a fun, catchy song. And again, Persona 4 is another series that's also really fun. Has a lot of good songs, but that one in particular just gets me in a good mood. I feel like everyone you're resonating with that. Heartbeat, heartbreak is gets you going. I haven't played Persona 4 um, myself. I've watched a Let's Play of it. I do have Persona 4 Golden on my PS Media that I do plan to play soon um but again persona 4 persona for music in general always hits so i had to put that on there now the next franchise i want to mention is one that i'm currently playing through right now and it's trails in the sky trails series or just falcom in general always put in their foot when it comes to their music i just found myself just like humming away or just like had to pause in moments where, like oh my god the song is too good um one of them has to be secret and passage I remember first hearing that song when we were in um oh shoot I forgot what woods we were um in but it's in a particular woods and I remember again had to stop in my place and like properly listen to that song because my god it was it was wild I don't know I was just like I just like had to stop moments and just like oh my god this song is so good and I've been listening to it ever since um again Trails in the Sky or the Trail series has a plethora of good music but that one in particular just got me in my feels. Not got me in my feels, but just got me in a like bop and mood. <laughs> the next one that I have is Peace After Darkness. It's also another jammer that I also just like. I would like sometimes catch myself in like my home just like humming to the song, whether I'm like doing my dishes or just doing my daily tasks, whatever. I'm just like humming along to the song. And again, trails. Welcome. Never stop what you're doing. I appreciate it. Next, we have to mention Xenoblade. If you all don't know, Xenoblade Chronicles is my favorite fan one of my favorite franchises of all time. Their story is amazing, characters are great, and their music does not miss either. The first one, without a question, is definitely the main theme from Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one or definitive edition, however which way you want to say it. But that opening screen, the title screen alone, I literally, again, had to stop what I was doing and I didn't even start the menu until like the, sun, or the song ended. And what's really cool as the song is playing, it's going from like morning to night or night to morning. You get to like see the day go by and it's just, and the song goes, yes. Like, oh, it just hits, it hits, it's hits. It's a bop, it's a bop, it's a bop. It's just so good. It's so good. And I feel like that song holds so many memories. And I can just, when I instantly hear, I just think of the time that I first played Zena Blade Chronicles 1 for the first time. And it gets me in my feels. It's a very emotional song as well, too. So I absolutely love that song. The next one that we have is the Mobius battle theme in Zena Blade Chronicles 3.
Again, another song that just made me stop in my tracks. That song, it's supposed to like grab you by the neck and be like, we're gonna start this battle right now. I think the first time I heard it, I literally was like shook and I was like, what is happening? Oh my God. And then the, the course of like the, 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 um, the enemies attack me, but I'm just too distracted by the song to be even paying attention to what's happening. Cause it's just like insane. Like every song in that album, that game is awesome, obviously amazing. I could again list a plethora of songs, but would be here forever. But yes, friggin' loved that beat. And it just, it gets you going. Cause it really also just hypes you up when you're in the middle of the battle. Just like, ah, you know? Love that song, love that song. And the last franchise that I wanna mention is Final Fantasy. Now Final Fantasy has a many games and there are a plethora of games out there, or games in the uh, entry, or entries in the franchise that have really great songs. I haven't played them all. I recently just played Final Fantasy 16. Absolutely lo loved that and the songs are great. Um, currently going through Final, I mean, I just started playing Final Fantasy 15, so I don't know much of the music on that one. But these are two from games I have not played yet, surprisingly. And the first one is Hollow Skies from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now this song, I heard it when I was watching the Let's Play of someone playing Let's, um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I don't know what it is about the song in particular, but it just makes me feel nostalgic somehow. though I have no memories tied to this game, I've never played it when it first came out or earlier in my life, I never, I don't have any memories to it, but for some reason, it just gives me a sense of nostalgia and it just, it just feels good. I actually play it quite often in my videos, it's probably going to be the background check of this video, but my god, this song is just... It gets you in the good mood. It also doesn't really have any lyrics in it, it's just an instrumental. So again, you could just play this while you're going on a walk or going to school or just, I don't know, just whatever you're doing. It's just a, definitely a good, chill background song to listen to. Absolutely love it. Amazing. So the next song and the last one on my list is Nine Wood Hills from the World of Fan Final Fantasy Maxima OSD. This is another game that I have not played. I do own it. It's somewhere around here, around here, but I remember stumbling upon it, upon it, across it. I don't know, I don't know what right word I'm looking for, but I remember stumbling upon it and thought it was absolutely amazing. I don't know, it just has a cute little chill, cute little vibe to it. It's nothing too crazy or dramatic like some of the other songs on my list, but it's just a very fun, chill kind of vibe song. I just found out that it's on iTunes. I don't know why it took me that long to realize it's on Apple Music, so I've been listening to it ever since. And I just love to vibe to it. It's just a very chill, fun song. And it makes me excited to get into the, um, that game, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. So now we are going to pretty much list off all of the, your favorite songs and OSTs. So the first person that responded was Mila from Mila's Gaming. I will definitely be leaving everyone's um, YouTube channels down below or their social media that you should definitely follow because these are also content creators and hopefully my friend like friends that I made on YouTube or on just online. I'd hope that we're friends. If we're not, I'm sorry for giving you that label, but you're friends to me and hopefully I'm friends to you guys. But she says that um, she can't pick one, so she gave us a lot. Um, she gave us a lot. So her favorite OST is from Etrian Audio series, um, especially three, the Untold 1 and 2 OSTs, Dinner Braid series OSTs, Eve's 8, Persona 4, Cupid Parasite, the Utawada Rumino series, I hope I said that right, and the White Album too, especially the vocal tracks. These are all series that I'm not, not, some of them I'm familiar with and some of them I'm not, but I definitely want to check them out because again, I'm here for new music and awesome vibes and I know that her tastes are great, so. I'm definitely excited to get into that. The next we have Allie from Maggie Allie on YouTube, and she says her favorite song is Chrono Cross Scars of Time. Now, Chrono Cross is such a really interesting um, game because, like, again, I also have it in my collection and I want to get to it eventually. But this also, I remember hearing the opening theme of this and I was just like, whoa, okay, go off. It's, I don't know, it just gets you excited for the game. I think opening themes 
or definitely set the tone of what the game is going to be. If you don't have a good opening theme, not that it's going to discourage someone from playing it, but like you can definitely like get the vibes of where this game might be going. And I feel like Corner Bars' opening theme is really great. I'm excited to get to it too. Next, we have Jay from Cool Nights Gaming, and he says that mine is definitely Silent Hill 2's OST. Favorite song through is Eyes on Me from FF8. Again, Final Fantasy. They just, I, like, I the other day I was like listening to like a little like um, mix of Final Fantasy games on their songs. They all are bangers, to be honest. Um, FF8 is really good. Also, the opening. That opening in Final FF8 is wild. Again, I haven't played it yet, but I've heard the opening. Again, grabs you in, sucks you in, wants you, gets you excited. So, definitely, definitely agree with you on that. The next we have Katana Riku, and today it's that. I talk about it all the time, but Shin Megami Tensei 4 has some of the best music I've heard in the entire series. I think Tokyo SMT4 is one of the best songs in the game. Now SMT4 is a really interesting one. Again, not like this is nothing new, but I do have the game in my physical collection. I have watched a Let's Play of it, and the music in that game is so interesting because it's so like, like eerie, but also like, I mean, it's a much very because it's like kind of like a dystopian sort of like way of what the world on me or at least Tokyo would be. Really, really dystopian, really cool, but like the vibe, it really suits the vibes of the dark, broody, angsty dystopian society and i definitely do like the smt4 soundtrack and smt is more a series that i'm a little unfamiliar with compared to like persona so i do having an smt4 i'm really excited to another spin-off so i'm excited to branch in the world that atlas has provided us with the both persona and smt and again the soundtracks from both of their series are really cool too next we have amanda and she says a yoshi story ost because it makes me feel really nostalgic it was the first game i remember playing and i have good memories of my brother surrounding it even though it's a single player the ending theme is probably my favorite song in it and that's what i love about music and get like music in general just in games as well you can always just come back to a particular moment whenever you hear that song like for me um a song that i think about when it comes to games which I'm surprised I don't think anyone mentioned this, is Kingdom Hearts, um, Tada Hikaru's, um, When You Walk Away. I can't play the whole song because I definitely think I'll get copyrighted for that, but we all know the classic. I didn't play Kingdom Hearts when I grew up, but I do remember, like, it coming on, um, like, a, like, the Disney Channel, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a bop. But yeah, again, it also just reminds me, whenever I think of that song, I just think of the time of me and my brother at home watching it on Disney Channel really weird but again that's what's really cool about music it just gives you fun memories that you can think about and reminisce on so i'm handy from it on this man ds says uh, pretty much anything from grandia 2 especially this one which is the best medium um, 16 grandia 2 fight version 4 final battle grandia is also another i feel like what are you saying this like i'm a broker nerd i'm like, sorry this is getting annoying but again this is also another series that i want to get into um i know that they have collections on other platforms i don't know which one to play it on but again, Grandia is also another one that I want to get into. And I remember I heard this and then I listened to this. I was like, this is a vibe. Again, all these music are in all their like all of it's a vibe. Everyone here that's uh, who commented on this tweet, y'all have great taste. I just want that to make it known. But this one in particular just got got me sitting on giddy. I don't know why. Just did. We have Alex from Quality Individual, and she says a big fan of OSTs of both Octopaths. Lots of great area-based themes, battle themes, etc. Octopath is definitely a really good one because I remember coming across like a playlist of Octopath both 1 and 2. Great, I think the HD 2D team, like I think their aesthetics and music match so well. It just, I don't know, it just fits the vibes really well. It's another again. Another series I want to try. I literally have, I don't know if you can tell, but it's on my camera. Like, up, I have, um, Octopath Traveler, the complete guide for the first one up there. Because I've heard that the first one's kind of hard, but we will have that guide to help us. But either way, Octopath is also another team that I really enjoy the music up to. So we have Tony here, and he says, This is hard to choose. If I had to pick something retro, FM sound chip, starts so kind of obscure, and I can't find a solo upload of it. The continued theme from X6800 version of the Cyberblock Metal Orange. Now this is definitely one that I had was like taken back from because I've never heard of it, but I'm here to be introduced to new things. And this one is a banger. It's a bop. Now we have Houdini Frontmeister and he said in a snowbound land from DK2. 
We also have Dead Leaf. I very, very rarely hear anyone talk about AR Tunnel Echo, let alone its music. More people found to hear the songs like this. Fun fact, most of the songs in the series of games are sung in a language made specifically for the game. I always find that so interesting when they really commit to like the world of the game and sing in the language said from that said world. It really gets you more immersed and really like into it to the world and I think that's really cool. I haven't heard, I've heard bits and pieces I think from another content creator talking about this game. It looked really really interesting and the song was really wild to me because again it's in a made up foreign language so it's really really cool. Next we have CN in the back of the tag. My favorite OST is probably Final Fantasy X but my favorite song is Harder but at the moment it's probably this which is the Octopath 2 OST the main theme in the day version. Again another Octopath shout out series. And then we have Anthony from Re Reversing Memory. Their song is from the Tales of Legend Legendia will always be my favorite. Is it Tales of Legendia? Legendia? Legendia or Legendia? I think it's Leg Legendia, right? Again, this is also another Tales game that I want to um, get into and I, I think I, heard, I remember hearing this song in another Tales playlist. I don't know what it is. I think Tales also just has bops as well. They just get you going. We have Scorpio Caesar. This one is from the Alien Trilogy, track five. This is a game that I've like, is definitely spooky. And I remember I was listening to it, like, yeah, this is definitely sets you up in the vibes. It gives you, again, like I mentioned before, when you have the right music that helps like push or not emphasize, or I guess emphasize and gives more light to the game. I think it's just like, or sets the tone, that's what I'm looking for. Sets the tone, it really like helps the game. So again, really awesome. Next we have Nintendo Gamer Girl with Lunar Silver Star, Story Complete, Luna's Boat Song. This is also another franchise. This is, an, I think, I believe it's a PS1 title if I'm not mistaken. But this is also another soundtrack that's just like, very much of its time, but it's still timeless. Like, if that makes any sense. I think a lot of these songs that I mentioned, whether they're newer or not, I know that like, I will stay with me forever and Stay the test of time. I feel like, again, with music and especially video games, you can remember the certain time that you're playing this, whether it's a single player game or with your family. This song just very much fits that kind of time. And we have Magic Forest with another Trails in the Sky shout out. We have um, Trails in the Sky, Sora no Kiseki's The Whereabouts of Stars, which is also another really good one. A classic, another banger, another hitter. So, definitely a good one. Then we have Fem Trooper with Earthbound Winter's Theme. I'm so glad that Earthbound is now on NSO because this is also another game that I really want to get into. Everyone that I know that's played it has had really great things to say about it. And this theme, again, like she mentioned, it's very nostalgic for me. It brings back my childhood instantly. Again, I feel like what's really great about these songs is they all give you these really fun, special, kind of warm butterfly feeling, you know, it just whether it brings you back to a certain time in your life. But yeah, definitely Earthbound is definitely a, a franchise that I feel like screams nostalgia. Then we have Avidian Smith with Sonic 3, Xenoblade X, and Persona 5 OSTs, and I could not agree with you more. I think Sonic in general has really good music that just gets me going. <laughs> we have RNG Gamer, Easy, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Also, Castlevania is not my cup of tea when it comes to games, but I've been, I've heard um, some songs from this, especially this one. It's definitely, it's a cool vibe. It's a cool vibe. We have Nish Quick, Tales of Arise, and SMT. Favorite OST is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My favorite song is The Tomorrow With You. Oh my god, yes! I feel like, again, I think uh, yeah, some, uh, I forgot the composer of um, the Xenoblade franchise, but like, am I not surprised? That person, he makes really great music that accompanies the game so well that um, helps carry on the message of each game. And also has a different talent each each one, which I think is just great. We have JNW underscore Ghost. Some that come to mind is Silver Will, The Sun Rises, and Palette Town. Unfortunately, I don't know where these are from, but awesome. Thank you so much, JNW underscore Ghost. We have Dr. Vat with Super Castlevania. 4, Final Fantasy 4, and Silent Hill 1 through 3. We have Marcus Kale or Writing Numbers, at Running under, Underscore Numbers, a ton of songs I absolutely love, but I can't fool myself. There's only one song I find myself singing every day at the moment in time is Sonic Heroes, Seaside Hill, Sonic Heroes. Again, Sonic is also really great. Center. I think the one that I think of when I think of Sonic for me 
is um, it's from Sonic Adventure Battle 2 on the GameCube, and it's the very first song when he's like skating down downtown. I forgot the name of the song, I'll probably put it here, but like I just remember playing that game for the first time and just like doing it out with my brother who was helping me along playing it. She's like, oh my god, this song is so cool. But yeah, Sonic songs were always a vibe. Then we have Curry's Mong, one of my favorite OSGs when I looked at it looked at as whole as Sonic CD. If I need to shout out one more song though, it's gotta be Tokyo from SMT4. I think there's one from SMT4. Lots of love for Tokyo. Next we have Flipendo. Flipendo 64. It's really hard to pick just one. There are probably 10 to 20 tracks that are all pretty close together in my preference. But I guess I'll put forward Modula from Dark Souls 2. This is a song I've never heard from. Again, granted, I probably I don't really play Dark Souls. I know myself, and my temperament, and my gamer experience level. Dark Souls is not for me. I just know it because I know I'm just not built for that. But what I am built for is listening to the music, and I definitely need to check this one out. So at Nerdiest Nick, depending on what kind of music you need, Tomodachi Life is a golden goose of OSGs, and it's copyright free as Nintendo as Nintendo music is. My personal favorite is the Fluid Mark theme. I just feel like, oh my God, I just remembered. I didn't even think about this. The Wii music. Oh my God, the iconic Wii music. I'm sorry. Journey is Nick. I'm just like, you just talking about Nintendo music, I just automatically just remembered Wii music. That is, that song is a good choice as well, but I just had to go on a tangent. The Wii music is so good. So good. Like, that, I think the Wii is the console that I have the most memories with, as in, like, because I played a lot on it. I know I'm kind of young, um, but the Wii channel music is just great. We got the Wii music, um, Wii sports music. Of course, we had like the Wii channel music. Just everything about the Wii was like great, great, great music. Next we have at Please Go Away, the mall rooftop thing from Yume Niki. Yume Niki. That's the song I need to check out too. Next one we have at Mr. Pokemaniac 3, Persona 4 Golden by a long shot. Animal Crossing New Leaf is also a great one if you want something calmer and more nostalgic sounding. I agree with you on that. Animal Crossing. Again, I'm just like thinking, you guys are like making me think of other series as well. Animal Crossing New Horizons, 5 a.m. Chef's Kiss. Even though I would not be old, well, actually, I did wake up at 5 a.m. just to listen to it because when I first got into Animal Crossing, I didn't know time travel was a thing. So I literally got my ass to wake up at 5 a.m. just to listen to that song. I was so tired, but I was vibing it out while I was tired. 5 a.m. from Animal Crossing New Horizons, we just listen to that. Next we have Alan Schur's um, Smart Light or at Miss Gay La Cabra. I hope I said that right. I'm kind of brushing my Spanish skills. We have Unshaken by Red Dead Redemption. I think that's Red Dead Redemption 2. This is also another series that I know my brother played and he's like, you should definitely play it. And I'm like, yeah, I should. Add that to my list. It's never ending, but this song definitely is a bop. It's probably Next we have Jin42W, it's probably one of my favorite songs from a video game, and that's Toad Find. Um, this is from Saga Frontier 2. I'm actually very unfamiliar with Saga Frontier, but this song in particular seems really interesting. Let me listen to it real quick. Oh, my dumb self, it's connected to my phone. But I will listen to it later. But yes, thank you for the recommendation. Now we have Oscuro underscore Sugudo. Sugido? I really think that Terra's theme from Final Fantasy VI is the most iconic piece of video game music, and the piece with the most emotional impact. It somehow conveys solitude, melancholy, hopefulness, and a sense of adventure all at the same time. Again, this is what what's really good about video game music. It, it gives you all this emotional impact and these feelings, and helps set the tone and just helps emphasize the story that they want that wants to be told in these games. I feel like if you can, you can have a good story. But I feel like with a good music company, it just really sells it, you know? Next, we have Matthew, the Holy One. Gotta go with Jet Set Radio Future. I'm so glad this is on Spot. I think this is either Spotify or YouTube Music. I think this is YouTube Music that he sent me the picture on. But yes, this is another like crazy thing I feel like gives you kind of like a nostalgia vibe, you know? Like you had to be there to be like, yeah, this makes sense. Now we have that Leather Bankin, Cypher Peon Battle from Pokemon Coliseum. No Pokemon Battle theme has ever topped this for me. 
the thing with Pokemon, I feel like it's always like we give you great vibes and it's just like hits all the time. I wouldn't know in particular because again, I wasn't allowed to just consume any Pokemon media because my parents were weird. But I'm really glad to be able to go back and look at it. And lastly, we have Lamon Spicy, the Mechanicus OST. This one I have to check out. I don't know what Mechanicus is, but I'm definitely gonna like be listening to it as I edit this video for sure. And, and that's pretty much all the replies I'm pretty sure that I got from that tweet. And again, thank you guys so much for everyone who partaked in this um, video and I will make sure to link down below everyone's Twitter as well as their um, YouTube handles as well, which is like a fit down in the description bar. Um, again, music is a great way to just again enhance the story also gives you good nostalgic feeling of a moment in time when you're playing that said game and it also just enhances the story being told from that game and without good music honestly it wouldn't make that much of a good game in my opinion, my opinion. but either way i'm so thankful for everyone who participated and thank you guys for watching this video if you liked what you saw do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as comment down below what's your favorite song or ost from the video game Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye!